Almost hit the brush out here. Um, Coach Fish was with uh, was with me in Denver, so I had a lot of respect for him. Um, kept in touch over the years, so he uh, he asked me to come out here, and it was uh, honor honored to uh, get him back. What did you think when you first thought about this? From when you went through to now to having this kind of camp, what was your first thoughts about it? Uh, like I remember, I remember the kind of the camp circuit and, and going to these different things. Uh, I think Coach Harbaugh did a great job. This is a little bit different, you know. He, he's got the baseball out there. I'm sure he's got some stuff in the store, so he keeps it interesting. Uh, you know, you got to get to see what kind of athletes are out here, which is which is fun. When was the last time you actually caught a baseball? It seemed like it seemed like it still struggled a little bit. I don't think I struggled. You think I struggled? A little bit. You missed a few. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I, I thought I did okay. Uh, it's been a while though. I'm back in high school. <laughs> when they were Coach Harbaugh talked about the baseball side was uh, identifying athleticism. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever done anything like that before or seen a camp where they do that. When when you're looking at that, um, is it, are you able to kind of identify maybe who's a little bit more athletic just through the drills? Um. You get, you get a sense of it, of it but I, I think whenever you start doing other sports, you know, that's when they come pretty clear cut. You know, real athletes and guys that are just quarterbacks. So I, I think nowadays it's hard on some of these kids because they are programmed for one sport. Uh, you know, it's year long, so they don't get uh, you know they don't get access to other sports and the skill sets that they go along with those sports. I haven't gone through OTAs as many camps now. How is John as a talent, as a quarterback evaluator, and maybe? How he judges you versus what Mark was doing the last couple of years. Uh, you can talk about Harbaugh. What are your impressions of Coach Harbaugh? Um, I like him. first time I've been around him. Um, a lot of energy. Uh, he's out there. He's got cleats on out there. So I mean, he's a guy that I would I would like to play for. You mentioned the um, the multi-sport athletes. Mm -hmm. Someone else talked about that too. Yeah. You know, a lot of these guys are specialized now. What do you think about you know like the guys that have? Every, it seems like everybody's got a court, quarterback coach. Yeah. What is there? Any thoughts on just specializing? Well, I mean, I played all three. I know Coach Harbaugh played, uh, you know, he played all three. It, it's just hard on these kids because if you, if you don't get specialized in it, you feel like you're going to get behind. And uh, so it's, you know, they really don't have a choice. You're kind of pressured into it, and uh, it's a year-long thing. At the end of the day, you just got to hope that they don't get burned out. Right. How many times do you do other things like this? What do you take personally back to the ground? Um, you know, I just try to make sure the kids have fun, you know, and, and try to teach them. If they, can, if they can get one tidbit that they can go back to their school and, and work on, uh, then it's worth it. But uh, most of all, just make sure these kids have fun and, and, and keep them engaged and, and have a good time with them. Um, I'd imagine you're asked to do things like this pretty often. How often do you, are, do you able, are you able to actually participate yeah, in something like this? Um, you know, not as often as, as I'd probably like. Um, you know, you got to pick and choose what you want to do. We just finished up with mini camps, so... Uh, we, we've got a little time off now, so I thought I'd run over here not that far. What was the biggest takeaway that you got from from off season, from the offseason workouts? Uh, we're just trying to get better every day. You know, new offense, so we're just trying to move in that direction. When Kristen was recently quoted as saying she didn't necessarily think Chicago was home, I don't know if that was taken out of context or not, but it how do you, it was? How do you feel, I mean, when you see even something like that, You've been to Chicago for a while now. How do you feel about that? Yeah, we have family in Chicago. We have a house in Chicago. Our roots in Chicago. Um, you know, we love being there.